Kirkara. This was in 1961, you know, ages ago. And she said, we have just uh, uh, decided that you will be a candidate for the Nationalist Party in the forthcoming election, which was held in 19, early 1962. I said, but I am not a member of the Nationalist Party. I am not involved in politics. Who decided this? He said, well, we had a sectional committee, and uh, the then Secretary General of the Nationalist Party was Victor Nicolesi asked, is there any young lawyer or any like, young medical practitioner who could uh, be proposed for <coughs> as a candidate for the election? And somebody said, yes, I know one. He's still very young, just graduated. Uh, he's, he's in the academy. And there I was, nominated as candidate for the Nationalist Party in the 62 election without no one asking me whether I would like to stand or not. <laughs> uh, I was not, no, no connection at all with the Nationalist Party personally. Uh, and there I, was, and there I was. But I took it seriously. And I think I revolutionized, or I may use the big, may use, the loud to so use a very big word. I had a small car, a Fiat, uh, Fiat Cinquecento, uh, with the Schneider wheel. Fast and uh, I borrowed an amplifier, put it on the back seat of the car, and literally I went all over the district holding uh, uh, corner meetings. And we used to hold all their meetings, believe me, at three in the afternoon. <laughs> and at three in the afternoon, the idea was, oh, we have to speak to women. And women are at home, and then you start off having nobody watching you, nobody listening to you. Once they said, but I can't start talking, <laughs> at least a dog. And finally the dog came around, and he said, okay, you may start. 